Hey guys, this is Zen Gorski. This is a windshield wiper arm. Obviously, if you got to remove it to get into your ECU, which is you know down in there, all painted the ass like. Um, they sell a tool to remove these. I know that I've seen it. It's expensive, which is ridiculous because it's pretty easy to remove them. Just pop off your nut to look like this. It'll be underneath one of these little guys. It'll be sitting on there like that. Just use a small flathead screwdriver, pop this off, put it off to the side. You'll have to undo that nut. It'll end up being a, what the hell is it? I think it's a 13, 13 millimeter. All right, once you got that off, you got your windshield wiper arm sitting on this cant like that. Push down on it and just be a man, pull it up, and there you go. Comes right off. Works on both of them. And then reinstallation is simply the opposite. Straighten it out, just put down, and let off. It's really easy. I don't even know why they make a tool for it. But a little DIY for you guys. All right, now that you got your wipers off, if you're trying to get to your ECU, <clears throat> next thing you got to do is get this rain guard here off, which you'll have originally your weather stripping here. This stuff will be across this seam, which you just pull it off. You don't really need any explaining there. You have your little holders over on this side that hold the stripping in. It's, it's just kind of on top. You just kind of move it out of the way. It's not very hard. I'm sure most of you guys already know this stuff, but just to go over it for the DIY. Yeah, this little plastic part here comes down right there. And then here's your little rain tray we're trying to get off. It's just got the little snaps there. You'll unsnap that on either side. Should be everything holding it. I don't know if newer models have anything else. This is a, this one's an 06. I haven't worked on any newer model ones yet, but then all you really do, it'll be seated pretty well in your windshield if you've never taken it off. Just give it from the center, just give it a good yank. It'll undo it, pick it up, guide it out, place it to the side, and now you've got your room to work at your ECU. All right, now the next step on your DIY to remove your ECU, you've got this metal shield here um, along the back where your weather stripping runs along and where that little rain guard came to. All you're gonna do, they're 10 millimeters, 10 millimeter nut, and a 10 millimeter bolt on either side. You'll just undo them, and then this piece actually just picks up. Um, I have a vacuum line running through for uh, fucking one of my gauges, I'm not sure which one. Actually, I think that's for my oil pressure gauge. You know what, fuck it, don't even matter. Anyways, just kind of get that out of your way as best you can. I mean, if you don't have anything stuck behind there, it'll let, you can actually just pull it completely out of the car. But, you know, me, I've got all this bullshit in there. Alright, so we got that out of the way. <clears throat> There's our ECU. Right there, if y'all have the noise delete piece, you'll have that little guy here unless you've taken it out which I'm actually about to do right now I completely forgot I had that left in there I haven't taken this out in about two years but all right I'll uh, make the video on how to take this out in a second just bear with me all right guys now it's time for that sweet ECU removal I've already got everything out of the way that we need to you're gonna have these two little nuts down here they're both 10 millimeter you don't have to pull them all the way up and you don't have to take them off I just I just did that to show you, but as you can kind of tell, it's slotted, so all you really have to do is slide it out like that. Once it slid out, maneuver. All right, after you finally figgle fuck the thing out of the goddamn little compartment in there, you know, uh, if you want, you can just break this piece off right here pretty much useless that I've deemed. I, I don't see the point for it. So I'm, I'm just going to rip it off. Probably cut it off with my Dremel. Just cut all those little legs off. And, you know, because that was really my big problem getting it out because it kept catching on shit. So, But anyways, once you got that done, come over to your connectors. 
There's two of them. It's these little side tabs right there. That guy. Let's pull on them. Rip them all the way out. Pull them out. It'll click. Pops right off, just like that. Uh, same thing on the other side. Just pull it. Pop it off. There you go. There's your ECU. It's still in a little case. A little hard piece that holds it in. So you just all you do is pull it out. So I mean, it's not anything too crazy. Uh, you probably gonna need a little screwdriver. To pry it free. If you see the case here, mine's a little rusted. No big deal. But you got this little tab coming up right here. I don't know why my fucking thing is so shitty, but hopefully you can see that. Uh, that's right there. Probably gonna get that off. Well, once you get that off, like so, pull right out. I don't know how well you can see that from here. Pull it out. Like that. And there's your ECU ready to go to wherever you're sending it. For me, it's going to be Unitronic up in Canada. Got to eliminate some things. But there's your ECU removal DIY. This is Zen Gorski. Thanks for watching.